Hey everyone. Um, so I don't know if, like me, you use um, render targets uh, in a way to kind of display mud or deformation in, in snow for where your characters might walk. Um, but yeah, I've been using it and I've been struggling to find a way to load and save the render targets between play sessions. So every time I've had to kind of recreate what was already there before using, using hacks. Um, but now I found a way to actually load that data back up, export it and, and load it back up again. So if you can see here, when I load the game, the previous game that I've been running, um, all these paths and the mud near the buildings and stuff, this is all from um, a render target. Um, and like I said before, what I was doing is having problems with this. So I'd have to like basically record all the positions where I was painting it before and kind of go back through and paint it again. Um, because I'm not using C++, I'm just using blueprints. Um, but now I found a way to actually kind of um, export and re-import this data. So again, you can see the paths aren't there. Um, and then if we load it back up again, you can see that this the paths are back in again. Um, and if I show you, so you can see here, did that go? It's not actually showing there annoyingly, but you can see, um, let me scale this up, that that represents what was there before. You can see the circular path and stuff. And again, if I show you there, that's how it looks. Um, so yeah, to do this, um, what I did was, so when I'm saving the game, I call this function here and inside here, we have this export to disk uh, function. And for this, I've linked it to the render target. So in this case, this would be this render target here, the one that I'm using for the mud. Um, and we export this for the directory or for the file name, I get the project directory and then I add it on with mud.png. Um, this I haven't tried this in a, a cooked build yet or a package build, so I don't know how this works. It might actually do something else, actually get something else more local. But at the minute, this actually returns the directory of the, of the, the game and then mod.png. If you don't use this, I can't quite remember where it ends up, but it was quite difficult to find. I think it's actually in the engine binaries, in the Unreal Engine binaries folder, not actually in your projects folder. So if you can't find it, it should be there. Um, and then what you're also going to do here is have this options here. So what you can do is just click make here, um, expand this. Um, I choose PNG, um, compression quality 100. You'll never write the file. Um, but then you will have to um, create a dispatcher here as well, a delegate, sorry. Um, so I've already made one, which was called Mud, mud Texture Save. It's just, uh, it just returns a, a Boolean, uh, whether it's succeeded or not. Um, I get, you don't have to have anything on that, but you do actually need that attached to this otherwise. If I do this, it'll flag that it's an error. Um, so that's my save function. And then when I want to load it, I do this. So this is the part I was having trouble with before. Um, so what I'm doing here is I am importing a file as a 2D texture. Again, exactly the same file name as before. That's important so you get the, the right file. Um, I'm checking whether it's valid. And if it is, what I do then is then I create a material instance. So this load mud material is just basically a blank um, material. I'm using unlit, it doesn't have to be there, but this, and then I'm feeding the texture in here. So this is just a texture parameter. Um, you can leave this blank, but Unreal throws up an error if it is, so I've just added something in there, but it's just a, it's just all it is, it's just a texture parameter. Um, and then here, the file that I imported, so the mud.png, I'm actually setting that as this, here. So this this material now is just basically a texture of this. Um, and then once I have this, I then draw this onto the render target. So it's basically, what it's basically doing is taking the render target when I save it, exporting that out as a, as a texture somewhere. And then when I load it back in, I'm basically grabbing that exported texture, using that, putting it in a material and then like pasting it over my render target. So my render target then has just been painted down with what was there before, and then it's free to continue editing on again. Um, so, so I've just kind of... Um, what was this one that I just said? 
So if I show you how we can continue this, so if I select the path and you know draw some path here. So we have an extra path here. I'll save it. And then I will load it back up again. And there we go, path is there. And if we look at the, you can see the path is back there again. Um, one thing I also had to do here, I think I did this anyway, was to change this to an RGB A8. Uh, that was so I could export it as a PNG. So if you're having problems, I would change it to, to that file as well. Um, so hopefully that will help you if you need to um, import and export render targets. Uh, like I said, I don't know if this works for definite in a package build. I, I'm still using it in the editor. Um, but I had a look at the functions inside the, the C++ fun functions and none of them have the if in editor um, hashtags. So it should be, should be fine. Cool. Thanks everyone.